is so much six plans six steps six marks that's what he does this I'm telling you now he preached 20 years ago are you there 20 years ago so there I was I, I remember about maybe a year or so somebody sent me the notes for it's online if you go online and you see, you'll see six plans, six steps, six marks of the bees. You'll see, you'll see six, six, six of the bees. But then the Lord is giving you beyond. So I was looking in Habakkuk chapter 1 and Habakkuk chapter 2. So when I, when I, when I reach verse 2, I say, I'm chapter 2. I say, how come this thing looks so much like the marks of the bees? The, these things just look so much like the marks of the bees. So I said, let me take up my 30-year-old Bible. So my, the one I was reading from is from my 10-year-old Bible. So I said, let me take up my 10-year-old Bible. 30-year-old uh, Bible. So when I take it up and turn to Habakkuk chapter 2, you, you, you come not just to take up my pen, but to look. Shagababa. And camera, if you can look, you come and look. Find a book up for me. I'm old. Oh, shagababa, shagababa, shagababa. Shagababa. Go look at it. You see, you need young men. <laughs> Go quickly find it. Come on. Habakkuk chapter 2. Now, when I look in, in my whole Bible, 30 year old Bible, when I look, I see in it, what is this? Plans. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plans. It's all written. My 30 year old Bible. Go over here now. What is this? Steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is my old Bible. Yeah. Huh? No. Come over here. What do you see here? Marks. Read it. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. What you see here? Reward of the beast. Yeah? We, don't, we can't touch that now. That's the wars. How are we going to go over them? Thank you very much. Now we're talking today about the the, the, the works and the wars 
of the beast. And if you can turn to Habakkuk chapter 1, we, we, we got to go very, very fast. We got to go very, very fast. They, they have been 22 minutes, but I'm not going to do 22 minutes because I, I, I don't want to go over. We're going to go very fast. The young men are going to come back and teach it better than me, those scholars and whatever. But I'm just going to sort of telling you we're in awe. Habakkuk is just an amazing book. And I'm going to tell you how this is going to end before I start because I can't finish. Read Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14. Somebody quick. Habakkuk 2 verse 14. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Somebody's a world revival. Somebody's a world revival. Somebody's a world revival. That's why you have, you have to have, what, what did I call it in again? Concentration of force. Everything has to be everybody. Everything, my God, my God, have to be everybody. Everything, all. That's why you're having God's revival. You have uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, every sinner a believer. I don't mean every sinner going to become a believer, but we do not block them. Every believer a preacher. Come on, everyone won't become, but we won't block any. Every preacher I see is the same thing. Everything come on. Every barrier break, broken. Every race, every clan, every come on, every issue. My God, my God, broken. Every agenda broken. Every mountain shaking, every mountain in your life, no matter what mountain in your life, it will be removed. My God, and every nation taken. Are you there? So we, we're still getting started, but we're trying to show you the end so we don't get, you know, in, 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 uh, bogged down and say, where are we going? Somebody read. Uh, I'm going to tell you when all this is going to happen. Somebody get me Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 2. Read it for me if you can. Habakkuk 3 and verse 2. Somebody help me to read it if you can. Glory to God. Oh Lord, I heard thy speech and was afraid. This is Habakkuk. When, when Habakkuk hear all that the devil gonna do, all that the beast gonna do, when Habakkuk, the mighty prophet of God, heard all, all the six, six, six works of the beast, my God, all the eighteen works of the beast, my God, and he was afraid. He said, "Oh Lord, revive thy work. Come on, somebody, come on in the what midst." of the years come on somebody in the midst of the years made known in wrath remember come on you know when the midst the midst is the rapture because it begins with eternity past somebody say one then it goes help me help me help me to the old testament here somebody say two then it continues to what the new testament which is the church which is where we are now that's number three come on then number four is what the rapture help me the number five is what the tribulation shall sure, have to be gone and number number six come on is the millennium and number seven eternity future or perfect age but what is number four number four is the middle were well, you going one to seven number four is what the rapture so watch it give me back the verse he said oh lord revive thy works my god at the point of the rapture Come on, revive thy works at the point of the rapture. Where is the closest point to the rapture now? The church age. That's why we gave that order to, to, to do a book called The Acts of the Harvesters. And by next week, we're going we, we, we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna get somebody in to help who have, who have, been, who have been given that, that charge to do that book. Because we got to have that book here before the end of the year. The acts of the harvesters that the world can't understand, and that's why. Man, that, that's my God, Lord, Holy Ghost, help me here. Somebody, there are some things in the move of God that is unnegotiable. There are some things in the harvest army that are unnegotiable. I never even talk about that music production that 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 young man did. My God to publish the move of God that music I don't care if it's AIE use do it come on somebody because the, the devil think them alone can control everything they make stuff to damage us and we use it and damage them we use it before they catch us you see you gone deep right there now 
there's music production one is called harvest army the war is on say amen and one is called daily revival come on you don't see what's going on you don't see what's going on church come on come on god has given the move of god a glimpse Come on, somebody, a glimpse of revival. God has come to the manger. God has come to the nobodies. God has come to the little people and said, I've seen your work. Sit down. I remember now, 2017, I see a revelation. We are on a big property, a big, big property. And on that property, my God, my oh god help me somebody came and called me and brought me to the head of immigration i said what did i do then i heard that immigration was reading some of my notes my preaching notes so i said i hope it's a soft one they were reading <laughs> so i went to see the head of immigration he's a tall caucasian man and he sit down and he pointed at me and said you you are the god of the church to this day, I don't understand it. Can I, can I take it from me? So, I, uh, so I, I, I believe it's the church. I know. I, I see. You, you, if you want to prophesy, you have to be honest. They can't pad nothing nor reduce nothing. I don't understand it. I'm not telling any lies. But one thing I know some guarding have to go on. Some guarding at the church have to go on. There got to be some vanguard for the church. There got to be some vanguard for the revival. There got to see some guarding going on. Rakata sakata bahaya, rakata sakata bahaya. So God is moving. There's so much going on. But let me see if I can take the three minutes left and tell you some of the works of the beast. I'm going to go fast. Abakak one. Verse 1, verse 2, O oh Lord, how long shall I cry? And will thou not hear, even cry out unto thee? I do violence, violence. All the terrorism music came a couple of years ago. It's not just like that. It's the beast. To terrorize us. To get us scared. We can't stand up. We can't defend ourselves. We can't defend our choice. Everybody begin to bow to terrorism. After 9-11, a certain, a certain a, a, a cult or whatever they call it, become famous since they're the world turning against them. The world gets scared. Even BBC say we can't speak against them. Sugar brothers, I got because of violence. It terrified the earth. They got the gun on us, so we do what they're going to do. What they want us to do violence verse three why dost thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance grievance the second thing that he brings is grief upon mankind grief grief my god grief pain and sorrow and grief number three same verse two hmm. for spoiling spoiling mean plunder when they finished they don't only kill you they take everything here they destroy your house they bulldoze down everything Shake up. kill your animals my god take take everything my god that's true so far as i'm going and and violence are before me and there are that raise up strife strife is it so see see i'm going so fast i'm on to the first six plans because we're gonna do six plans six steps and six what remember six marks so we're at the fourth plan right now hmm, hmm, hmm. verse four of abacac one therefore the law is slack that's the faith, lawlessness. <laughs> That's number five, lawlessness. And judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded victimization. I'm finished that part already. 
six plans that the bees have. My God, and let me, let me clarify, within the church age, it's within the church age and back it. The Bible said they are antichrist. Then, then the next part is six. How much? Six what? Six what? Six what? Steps. Glory to God. Six steps. All right. Help me, Jesus. Verse 14 of chapter 1. And they make us men as the fishes of the sea and creeping things that have no ruler. Chaos. Chaos. As you see, no, nobody knows what's going to happen. Everybody's scared at this time of the most important election coming up in the world. No ruler. Right now, the present leader of the world has stepped aside and said, I need no more. And there's a lot of confusion. A lot of people prophesying. A lot of people saying stuff. I said, I know God says God said that. Or I use this and that to predict that and predict. Confusion. Chaos. Huh. It's one of the steps of the beast. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hmm. 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 Verse 15. They take up all of them. With the anger. Hmm. I, th I think I'm getting into trouble. They catch them in their net. That net, I'm trying to get the number correctly. The angle here represents division. 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 It means they find it different ways to divide and conquer. Any anger. <laughs> My God, we're talking a little about geometry here or physics. They catch them in their net. That's a hook. So the steps so far are chaos. Am I right? Then division. And then number three, the hook or the traps. My God, I'm getting into trouble. And gather them in their drag. Drag is just another level of a net. Drag. Sometimes when they're catching fish, they get a big net. And one boat on the other side and one on the other side. And they drag that big net. That is called a drag net. Now you're there. I'm going fast. Therefore, they rejoice and are glad. 16. Therefore, they sacrifice into their net, sacrifice to their net, that means they begin to worship the system, they begin to worship the beast, they be begin to worship the things of the beast. Are you there? You mean idolatry. I, I want to run past this one, someone's got this one, give me a little trouble. Onto their net and burn incense, still idolatry, and burn incense onto their drug. So let me just announce this on the other side of my Bible, because, but, but chaos, hooks, trap, cornered, surrendering, and worship. Let me run now to the six marks. Chapter 2 and verse 5. Somebody said the six plans, the six steps, we have to clarify that one more. And six marks. That's the one you got to watch for now. Verse 5. Yea, also because he, that's the beast, that's the Antichrist, before the rapture. Are you there? Hmm. Therefore, he transgressed by wine. And that's why wine is promoted so much more today. He is a proud man. Pride. Never see himself, never say sorry, never say, never apologize. In the church, all when you write, you apologize. 
Since a couple of months, I apologize to so much people you wouldn't believe. Yeah. If you don't, if, if, if you have apologized in the past three months, you've got pride. My God. Yeah, see? You can't be so perfect. Come on, somebody. You did somebody wrong. And if you didn't do anybody wrong, come on, somebody. Daniel still apologize. Sugar, blah, blah, blah. He said, you also he transgressed by wine, number one. He's a proud man, number two. What are we on now? What are we on now? The six what? Marks. Hmm. Neither keep it at home. Divorce. Break up your homes. God has a special blessing in the harvest army. Where 98% of the homes stay together. Somebody say amen. So my God. No wonder he fight us so hard. My God. Because he's getting a beating from the homes. All right. So we are at divorce. This is the beast. What the beast do? It's in the Bible. Who enlarged his desire as hell. That's wretchedness. He teach hell like it's nothing. No matter what happened, it's happened. It's nothing. It's okay for me to go to hell. So that mind frame is now common everywhere in the schools everywhere. So what if I go to hell? It's already hell down here. Come on, read on. And is as death. That's fatalism, man. That's why they just drive and don't care if they die. So when they drive, you have to be careful. You have to be drive for two people because they don't care if they die. So when they cut you, when they cut you, don't fuss with them. They're trying to die. Are you there? Shut up, baba, ba. Fatalism. Are you there? So we finish. And is as death. That's what? Number five. Am I right? The marks. Wine. Pride. Divorce. Wretchedness. Fatalism. And cannot be satisfied. That's greed. <laughs> That's greed. Don't please them. They will never be satisfied. You please them. They're going to want more. You got to stand up at a certain point. Greed, stand up everybody. These are quickly and could be made clearer. Some of our young people will make it clearer. The six, six, six plans, steps, and marks of the beast. But praise God, we win. Hmm. Come on, somebody. Because the woes of the beast are not six, but it's seven. You're not, you're not coming with me, somebody. God don't work with six. The highest man can get his six. Seven begins with God. And that's why in Revelation, there are seven. Come on, come on, scholars. Seven churches. <laughs> Scandlesticks. <laughs> seven woes. You guys itching up and glitching up, man. Come on, come on. Bowls, vials, I need the first one. Trumpets. Come on, man. Come on. Thunders. Come on, come on. Notice the seven, seven. He trying to six, 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 six. But not God is seven, 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 seven. Amen. Oh, shagabaga. You don't want, you don't want to work in me here, somebody. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And here's what God, what if I tell her what God is gonna do to him, my God, I'd be late. I tell you what God is going to do to him. The seven, the seven woes God told you is the six, six, six works. But the woes that's in the Bible, God, you don't want to be with him. So the Bible says in, 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 in 1 John 4, 4, he said, greater is he that is in us than he. The he that any he. The he is not your, your enemy. Come on. Come on. Is the beast he talking? He said, greater is he that is in you. Go to that verse. I'm, I'm gonna have to, I have to at least give you that one. Go to that verse. First John 4, verse 4. He said, well, These guys are good. He said, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Who are they then? The beast and all his minionites and his masters and his come on, somebody, and his mediums. Are you there? He said, You have already overcome them. Did you hear that? Say amen. Say amen. Come on. So for you not to win now is worthless. Come on, somebody. I gave you a test and give you all the answers. Come on, come on. Come on. I gave you a test and give you all the answers. 
Come on, somebody, because you have already overcome them. Read on. Because, help me, somebody, greater is he who is that he is Jesus. Somebody say the Christ. Somebody say the Christ. Greater is he, the Christ, that is in you. Lift your hand if you have him. Somebody here. Than he, that's the Antichrist. Be careful how you fight against the anti beast preachers. He says, than he that is in the world. Keep standing. Lord, we thank you for your mighty call upon the lives of these nobodies. You're all across the world. So many nations, cultures. Languages. My God, cultures and tribes. And Lord, you have put your hand to say in Second Chronicles 16, 9. And so you search. You said your eyes are all over the earth searching for them. Searching for those. It was not individual. My God, whose heart are perfect before you. They may not be rich, but their heart is perfect before you. They're like Nathaniel, who you said, there comes a man who hath no guile. He's not perfect, but he's not deceitful. He's not tricky. He may make mistake, huh, but he's a honest person. He's a person of integrity, though he be not perfect. Lord, you said in 2 Chronicles 16, 9, oh, you go through the earth to see if you can find them. Whatever culture, whatever language, whatever race, whatever tribe, Lord, they are rising up. You are picking them up. But the enemy is against them. They are targeted by the beast. Lord, we have just read 18 works of the beast against these people, against the church. He's trying to bring this, trying to bring that, trying to bring wine, trying to bring divorce, trying to bring division, trying to bring violence, trying to bring so many things, trying to bring greed, trying to bring so many things, but God. But Lord, we thank you, your word says, you will deal with him. For greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And Lord, I pray you'll minister unto us and we break the strongholds of the devil. Every work of the beast that has come against your chosen, we break it in Jesus' name. Anybody want a little prayer right now? To break every yoke of the beast, come right now. Anybody? You want God to break that yoke and you want him to build, my God, your authority to bring war upon the devil. Next time we preach about it. You want every, you're going to go back through it. The middle one, the steps I didn't say as clear as I should. So go back through it. The whole book of Habakkuk 1, 2, and 3 is a book that you say, try to read as often as you can. And you will see those, my God, those works that he has planned. And your eyes is going to get clearer. And to see what's happening to you is one of his 18. One of his 18 works is right there. And God said, we are not ignorant of his devices. And as you read, your head is going to clear. Say, ah, ah, that's why this happened to me. He said, devil, you're a liar. I see what, what the plan to do. It's all in the Bible. But I'm going to release God's seven wars against you. You know, come on, sir. I can't wait to preach that. The seven wars, my God, different from the one in Revelation. I'm talking about, about the church age. Wars. Shut up. Father in your hand right now. I place these precious people. My God. My God. I break every work of the beast of them. I break every work of Satan of them. I break every work of them in the name of Jesus. I lose them. I lose them. In the name of Jesus. Say, so in the name of Jesus, I break every work of the beast of me, my mind, my body, my soul, my spirit. I break every work 
of the beast of me in the name of Jesus for it is written in Hebrews 4 and verse 12 the word of God is quick come on you know it and powerful read it say to me and sharper than any two judge sword if piercing even dividing the center come on huh? of soul and spirit and joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart you see how wide it is say in the name of jesus i rebuke the beast in the name of jesus i release the woes of the scripture upon him i mean the church age beast i release my god my god the words of the scripture upon him now somebody's in jesus name